the 35-year-old solicitor, who now faces a possible jail sentence, was accused of colluding with her brother Festus after her car was clocked going 41 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour zone in the village of Thorny near Peterborough. The Old Bailey heard evidence the MP for Peterborough was texting as well as speeding on the evening of Monday, July 24 last year, during the summer commons recess. Prosecutor David Jeremy, QC, told the jury she went on to lie, persistently and deliberately, to avoid prosecution. Festus Anasanya, 34, from Cambridge, had pleaded guilty to three counts of perverting the course of justice over speeding, including over the July 24 incident. But his sister, who was elected in June 2017, denied a single count of perverting the course of justice. She was found guilty following a retrial at the Old Bailey, putting her political career in jeopardy. The trial had heard how as the registered keeper of the Nissan Micra, Anasanya was sent a notice of intended prosecution, NIP, to fill out and return. It was sent back naming Alex Antipow, an acquaintance of her brother Festus, who was away visiting his parents in Russia. Authorities repeatedly tried to contact Anna Sonia at her home and in Westminster when they were unable to track down Mr. Andy Pow at a false address. When the Cambridgeshire Police Camera Unit asked Anna Sonia to provide correct information, she replied, I have supplied the details made known to me as well as the license information. I have provided a completed nomination previously, in a phone call on November 2 last year, she told an investigator that she stands by her nomination, jurors heard. A week before the original trial, Festus Anasanya admitted perverting the course of justice to avoid speeding prosecutions on three occasions, including over the July 24 incident. The singer come delivery driver already had nine points and risked losing his license and his job if he received any more. His sister had been caught speeding earlier last year and on that occasion filled out an IP correctly and completed a speed awareness course to avoid three points. A day after the first trial began at the Old Bailey, Anasanya's former communications manager came forward to place her at his house in Thorny on the evening of July 24. Christian DeFio told jurors he never imagined in his darkest dreams that he would give evidence against the woman who he helped to election victory last June. Jurors were also told that Anasanya had texted a landscape gardener minutes after the car was clocked speeding. Giving evidence, Anasanya denied lying to police for the sake of three points on her license. She described her first weeks as an MP as like being chucked into the ocean and being expected to swim. She stayed in London for four days a week, working from a corridor in Westminster and being deluged by thousands of emails. When she received the nip, she left it at her mother Paulina Scott's Cambridge home for whoever had borrowed her car to complete, assuming she had been in London, she said. She did not recall visiting the DeFio house on July 24, but could not rule out being behind the wheel. While being pursued over the nip, Anasanya was admitted to hospital for three days last September, having suffered a relapse of multiple sclerosis. The episode confirmed the devastating diagnosis, she said, I was told I had a relapse and they had found more lesions on my brain, I probably was not in the best head space. I've just been told I had got an incurable degenerative disease. I think that would preoccupy anyone, when she asked her brother about the ticket, Festus told her it was all, sorted, she claimed. Anasanya's lawyer Christine Agnew QC described Festus as a charming chancer who tried to play on his sister's standing as a lawyer and MP to get him out of the hole. During the trial, Labour Chief Whip Nicholas Brown lent his support to his colleague, describing her as honest, trustworthy and reliable. The Anasanya siblings face possible jail time when they are sentenced at the Old Bailey by Judge Nicholas Hilliard QC on a later date. Fiona Anasanya defeated the conservative incumbent Stuart Jackson at the 2017 election, winning with a majority of just 607 votes. Speaking to Premier shortly after becoming an MP, she explained her role as a Christian in Parliament. 
she said, Scripture says to go into all the world, the world isn't just a geographic world, it's spheres of influence, so I'm going into the world of politics, stay up to date with the latest news stories from a Christian perspective, sign up to our daily newsletter and receive more stories like this straight to your inbox every morning.